Gatsby and London. And today we were are going to start a new series called Beanie Boo Stories. Well, we get Beanie Boos around to tell their true stories. And this, and if you want to, and if you want to have your story featured, just let a story in the com, flow in the comments, and we could pick it, and it could be your story. So let's get right on. Okay, yeah. So sports day. Since school is for me starting tomorrow, I want to talk about any something that happened in school before. Sports Day 2017. Now in my school, there's this thing we have called Sports Day. It's kind of obvious that we do many activities. Most of the activities are outdoors. And sometimes it can be pretty warm. Sometimes it's just the right weather. But in this in this sports day, it was just way too hot. It was like 32 degrees Celsius. I'm Canadian. 32 degrees Celsius is incredibly hot. Well, well, it's pretty hot here, I'd say. Let's well, so go. 32 degrees. It was so... It was quite warm. And we had to do all these activities for most of the school day, 95%, I'd say. And it was just like, and some of the activities were fun, yet some of them were just too hard. So I was, um, so one of the activities was the 50 meter run. So three people would run 50 meters, obviously. And someone would be first place, obviously. Usually I would end up last place, but I didn't really care because it's not like the Olympics or anything. But when one of the people beat me, they... Now, in one of the races, I got second place. And the first place person started to make fun of the third place person. I was like... Why would you be rude to them? It's not the Olympics. And I, I just kind of felt bad because, because it's not the Olympics at all. So you don't need to be made fun of just because you lost the race that is not going to be in history books. <laughs> well, I don't think so. And... And then there was also the 200 meter run. Same thing, three people. But this time it was more painful. And one of the people in my group tripped over. And I was like, oh no, are they? And I was like, oh my god, are they okay? So I started to, I actually paused my racing so I could help this person because it's 200 meters. That's almost a quarter of a mile. And this was one of the races. We did a few races. But it's like there was a lineup, so we didn't all do it at once. It would be so hard to do. But yeah, immediately when I completed the race, I lost my energy so much. So we'd walk, we'd run 100 meters to to a line, and then once we cross that line, we turn around to walk, run another 100 meters. So yeah, that's 200 meters. It was incredibly hard to do. I, I just lost so much energy through that. And the fact that someone tripped over, and I, and I had to help them because that's my instinct. If I see someone get hurt, I help them. Even if it's someone I don't like. But it's so yeah, there's that. And another really annoying thing. If you if you get hurt, you still have to keep going. This this happened the last year before that. 
like the last few before the sports that I'm talking about, I got kicked in the face with a soccer ball and they made me stay playing. It's like, come on, I'm hurt. Do you really want to make us suffer? And I just wanted to sit out. I mean, what do you do when you get kicked in the face? I was crying because like, what do you do if you're like, what doesn't like, what do you do if you get kicked in the face? Like, honestly, what do you do if a third grader gets kicked in the face? So that was quite horrible. But that's not the one we're talking about. We're talking about Sports Day 2017. That was 2016. And anyways, I just have to say, it wasn't really that enjoyable because there's because we had lunch we only ate once in when I was at school only once we only lunchtime was the only thing we ate at school now luckily in our school we eat in our class and we get the pack of lunches although soon I might have to end up buying our own food and I've heard the reputation. I've heard it tastes bad. <laughs> Hopefully it's not in my school once that happens. But still. But still. Oh my god. My One of the people in my group almost had heat stroke. That's how warm it got. And they make us burn our energy. I was turning into a fountain of sweat. I was sweating so much. I just wanted to go home. Luckily, they made us bring our water bottles. I brought two. So I was extra prepared. And yeah, um, my friend almost had heat stroke. Luckily, there was a few times we got to go inside and get and get out the fresh air because it was way too hot. I I wanted to get inside so badly. It was so hot. I did not want to get heat stroke either. And I was actually re I was starting to get really I was starting to get quite nervous that I was gonna have heat stroke too. Luckily I didn't. Luckily I didn't get hurt. But someone in my group did, and someone else got heat stroke. I was just fine, but I turned into a puddle of sweat. And that sports day really wasn't enjoyable. Wow, that was quite insane. So yeah, you can submit your stories into the comments section. And we could have it next time, or we might do another Beanie Bee stories today. Or it's going to be a live stream.